We are mask presenting sisters. We are wearing clothing that makes us feel good. And it's as simple as that. What's up guys? Oh. <laughs> Prior to starting TikTok, we hadn't really experienced any in real life homophobia. People saying like, you guys deserve to be dead. Yeah. Like it's, it, it's filthy. <laughs> We're allergic to haters. That wasn't your plan, that's actually hilarious. Well, we are going to pick up our new tailored suit. Mama G is going to meet us at the shop. Are you nervous at all about showing your mom your suited look? Okay, so just a little bit to the left, like right like that, yeah. And then a little bit left down. Yeah. On that side. Uh, nope, on the other side. Nope, too, too much. My name is Amna, also known as Am. And my name is Noel, also known as Noe. And we are mask presenting sisters. And we also go by the Zletneys on TikTok and Instagram. I'm the older one by one year and five days, exactly. So our podcast is called Metamorphosis. And metamorphosis, emphasis on the sis. Because we're sisters. And yeah, just sharing, you know, morphing into the big beautiful butterflies that we all can be and learning how to fly. Ready? Yeah, we're good to go. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to episode number 14 of the Metamorphosis Podcast with Al and Noe. Woo! All right, so today we're gonna be diving into everything spirituality. Our mom is from Goa, India, and her religious background is Roman Catholic. And then our dad is from Libya, and his background is Muslim. And so growing up, um, they taught us both religions, and so we learned a lot from both sides. Um, yeah, you can speak to that part. <laughs> we decided to be spiritual. So yeah, I think we never fully identified with either. We learned from both. Growing up with both of those backgrounds, it was kind of, you know, shared to us through learning about the religions that it wasn't necessarily entirely accepted to be gay or queer or to, you know, be attracted to the same sex. And we did feel a bit of judgment in that sense. Um, Felt a little bit of guilt and shame guilt and, and shame. wanting to yeah. hide. All right. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to episode number 14 of the Metamorphosis Podcast with Am and Noe. Be yourself. Do what makes you happy. Spread love. And morph into the real you. Woo thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next one, guys. Good job, girl. That was good. <laughs> How yeah. I would describe our, our, our relationship as sisters now is first and foremost, best friends. Yeah, we're a dynamic duo. No, but there's another one. Ride or die. She's yeah. my ride or die, like just there. We say this all the time, like it's my second brain. On, On the, the flip, flip side, side <laughs> we are sisters. We are both Sagittarius, fire signs. We also butt heads like no oh. other. Over the years, we've had like, catastrophic fight sometimes where, you know, <laughs> we haven't talked for months. Like, that only happened once. Yeah, that only happened once. When you describe it now about your coming out, your coming out to story. each other. So I think at the time I was in second year university and was in third year university. Very feminine presenting, had no idea about each other. I had a girlfriend at the time. No, I didn't know Am did too, but Am also did. And then we went for dinner. Both of us were super nervous at this dinner, just kind of making eye contact, like we got someone to tell each other. <laughs> so then we go back to our, our parents' house. We didn't really know how to go about it. We had to turn the lights off. We couldn't, couldn't look each other in the eye. We couldn't look each other in the eye. We're so nervous. And we laid down on the bed side by side and we're like, okay, you go first. She's like, no, you go first. I'm like, no, you go. And she basically just said, I have a girlfriend. And I was like, me too. Given our whole parents' background, what are our parents gonna think? What are they gonna say? But and then, then yeah. shortly after, we were like, wait, this is the best possible thing because now I have someone who knows me and will support me, yeah. all of me. We That's cut like, our hair at the same time too. Yeah. <laughs> we're both like, let's chop it off yeah. together. So that was nice to do together. Okay, so you'll go first. Yeah. What's up, guys? So, in some of our previous uh, starting over in this way, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, guys? Today's a really exciting day. So, in a lot of our other videos, you probably see that Em and I love to rock suits. We are headed to God Style Suit Shop to pick up our new tailored suits in such cool colors that we cannot wait to show you guys what that looks like. We'll see you guys there. Let's go to the shop. <laughs> Sorry, that's so funny. When did your style start evolving? Yeah, coming out was the turning point. I think prior to that. <laughs> you answer every question first. I, I don't, don't have girl. a chance. We caught okay. it in 4K. Okay, I okay. don't. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go for it. I feel like if you see pictures of us when we were kids, it's us right now. We look the same. Like yeah. short hair, tomboys, <laughs> yeah. masculine fashion. And then going into adolescence, um, entering high school was kind of the main time when you know, societal pressure kicks in. We were both very feminine presenting at the time. So crop tops, mini skirts, high, high heels, heels, makeup, hair done, hair. everything. Yeah, yeah, so it was a very different world. 
now that we are expressing ourselves more masculinely, one thing that we've started to realize in our personal opinion is masculinity and femininity, it's just an energy or an essence. It doesn't mean that boys have to be masculine and girls have to be feminine. Sometimes it's almost competition when we don't want to wear the same thing. It's like, I want that, no, I want that. Yeah. But quite often when we do go and dress on our own and then we come together, it's like almost very similar anyways. So we get a lot of misconceptions. People either funny enough think we're together, <laughs> like that we're dating or that we're twins. We also get brothers a lot. One of the biggest common misconceptions about the way that we look is that people assume we are trying to look like men. We are wearing clothing that makes us feel good. And it's as simple as that. We're happy with who we are. We're happy with our bodies. We do identify as she, her, and we identify as girls. I don't get offended when we do get uh, misgendered as long as the person is being respectful, which 99.9% .9 of the time they are. It's just an honest mistake. Let's go. See you soon. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. So the type of content we create is queer focused and we like to be advocates for the LGBTQ plus community. I think the number one thing is we want to be the example that we didn't have. Prior to starting TikTok, we hadn't really experienced any in real life homophobia. So how did the one yesterday do? Um, let's see. It's doing pretty good. Seems like a mix. Uh, never too late to go back. Beautiful girl. Beautiful girl, that's so interesting. They like are conflicted almost. <laughs> How sad. We're actually pretty happy. Yeah. <laughs> the Lord is watching with an F U. So it's it, they didn't spell it right, but they tried to roast us. This world, man, it's all going wrong. People are saying like you guys deserve to be dead. Yeah. Like it's it, it's filthy. <laughs> or like you guys have uh, mental illness. No men wanted them, so they dated women instead. It is unfortunately primarily men yeah. that we get hate from. You can dress like men all you want. You two still will always be women. Facts. <laughs> like we never claim to be men. That's the thing. Like we always said we were women, and we're not trying to be men. Is there something you'd like to say in response to those kind of comments? Feel better. <laughs> That wasn't even planned. I'm literally allergic to comments like this. <laughs> We're allergic to haters. That wasn't even planned, that's actually hilarious. The way the algorithm works on social media, if you interact with a post, if you like it, let alone comment, you're just gonna get more of that com content. So it's always so funny to me when I see haters that hate the video so much or something about us provokes such a reaction in them. Like, you're just gonna get more of us. Some of the positive comments we receive, they just make our whole day just like, you guys look amazing, like you're inspiring to me, you inspired me to come out to my family. Our mom's response when we first started dressing more masculine, truth be told, I don't think she took to it as much. Growing up, in her mind, naturally, for girls, typically in society, girls dress feminine, and she's pretty feminine herself, but at the end of the day, she's always supported us to do what makes us happy. So our mom's name is Jen. On our socials, she's known as Mama G. She's the reason we do everything Yeah. We do. So it's really nice to finally get to a point now where we're at here where she's coming to see our new suits and celebrate that with us. And she's never really come along for that experience with us in the past. Yeah, are you nervous at all about showing your mom your suit as well? If you asked us that same question maybe like five years ago, I think the answer would have probably been yes. When my kids came out to me, it was really tough when they told me. Believe it or not, I never expected to hear that. Probably took me about five years to figure out how to completely embrace it. But in that time, my love for my kids did not change And now. If anything, I hope it grew. Go ahead. Hi. Mom, this is Natasha. Nice to meet you. <laughs> My kids have a unique and their own individual sense of style, and I love it. And what I love the most about it is the number of people that I see trying to mimic that style. I think that's really, really cool, including me. <laughs> I think they are totally cool and absolutely beautiful, and I'm just the proudest peacock ever. All right, guys. So I have your suits ready for you. So I have them all set up in the fitting room if you guys want to follow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't wait, let's do it. Okay, good luck, girl. I'm always excited to see my daughters and then to have brand new custom made suits. It's like a dream come true. Oh my gosh! Wow. What do you think? Look at oh you! Oh my gosh! 
I know. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Do you like it? The colors? And, oh, the colors are yeah. perfect. Perfect. And, and it complements each other oh too. Oh my gosh. I know. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Looks it's like so super cute. star. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I'm getting emotional. All right. Oh what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute! Cool. Yeah. They amazing. obviously suit suits. <laughs> they look amazing. Yeah. 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 And they're just glowing, and it was such a fun, oh easy gosh. process with both of them. They fit like a glove. They like, look yeah. really great on you. Oh, really? It's feeling that inner child. 100%. It is. Yeah. Yeah. This is all the inner child. And just to have the full circle of like you here experiencing this with us and like celebrating that with us, mom, is everything. Oh. And liking and, and enjoying how we look. Like, it's exactly. everything. <laughs> How do you both feel about your mom's reaction? Oh my gosh, I almost teared up. It's just, it feels so good to know that our mom supports us fully in that. Yeah. When I watch them deal with hateful comments, one of the things I'm most proud of is they send love back to hate. And our message on all of our platforms is to be yourself, to do what makes you happy, and to spread love. That's what this world needs. When you're your true, authentic self, I think that's where happiness lies. Don't worry about what anyone else says. Like, just go for it. If I had to describe my sister in one word, it would be a rock for me. Oh, I'm gonna get emotional. Yeah, just my support. See, I'm a softy. She's literally the best vibe I've ever been around. She's always turning the light on and just giving the best energy. My fun sis. <laughs> Beautiful. With Why? tears in my I eyes. I couldn't think of a better word. Is there a better word? No, 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 girl. I like that. I like okay, that. That's okay. how I would describe myself. Okay. <laughs>